I'm Janine Oliveras. I am the CNI curriculum, uh, the curriculum coordinator, curriculum and instruction program coordinator. Um, I teach in, as I mentioned, in the at leadership program, and I also teach in the curriculum instruction program. So, um, so our program is 30 hours. Um, there's certain courses, um, there's 18 hours that are required for all students, and then we have 12 hours that are uh, for cognate or specialization, and we have four. Um, for somebody in high school, you can choose uh, to instructional coaching, you can choose um, educational technology, STEM education, or single content. So you could focus on history and take 12 hours of history. Um, you could also, uh, some students, especially at the high school level, want to take the 18 hours uh, for to have enough credit to teach at the college level and teach dual credit. Um, and those are two extra courses that students have to take in addition to, to their mass, to the 30 hours. Uh, so if you wanted to uh, focus on history, you could do that and then have your 18 hours and be eligible to teach uh, dual credit. Uh, the only problem is that not all history classes are online, but that wouldn't be a problem for you. You're in the area. Uh, so those courses are not 100% online just for the single content area for history. But all the other cognates, instructional coaching, STEM education, and educational technology are 100% online. Yeah. As far as jobs uh, the people seek you know, or, or get once they have a CNI degree, um, many times our students become curriculum coordinators. Uh, depending on the district, they might become, they are, might be the director of curriculum and instruction. Um, we have a lot in their instructional coaching program, so they end up being coaches and working at a school, working with teachers. Others uh, become professional development coordinators if the district has uh, a professional development uh, department. Uh, curriculum writers, for sure. And then, of course, uh, if they have, if they choose the educational technology or STEM, um, they can work in those areas as coordinators as well. Uh, the admission process is pretty simple. Uh, you, um, where's your degree from, your undergrad? Uh, Western Governors University. Okay. So you would have to submit uh, the transcripts to the grad school. Um, then um, we verify that you are a certified teacher, which clearly if you're Robin Lee, uh, Eli, you, you're certified. And then, um, so. right? <laughs> um, yeah. and so then you, you apply and then uh, the GRE is waived if your GPA for the last 60 hours is three point, I mean, yeah, 3.25 or higher. Uh, if you need to take the GRE, then you take the, you, we, what we do is we, once a student applies, we look at their transcript and then uh, our admissions coordinator contacts the student and said, hey, you've qualified for the waiver or you need the GRE to be considered for admission. Yeah. Um, all that information is posted on our website, on the CNI website, um, if you, you know, if you forget some of those things. And I know um, our um, Office of, Grad, of Graduate Studies uh, has posted some the links on our chat. So if you want to copy and paste or if you want to open them and save those, um, they're there for you. So what questions do you have about our program? Well, um, uh, as far as the teaching dual credit, yeah. It's 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 thirty hours for the program, and then how many additional? Just two more courses. Two more courses. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure on that because uh, we do have some teachers here that are teaching dual credit, uh, and he is well. The one that's teaching dual credit history is uh, he's further into the twilight of his career than I am, so he may be retiring within a couple of years or so yes um, so yes. that might be something i'd be interested in as well and what we do and what uh, students do is they complete those credits before they graduate so they you know continue to have the 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 tuition they're, right. they're not non-degree seeking uh -huh. right yeah. right okay um as far as and, and i'm just asking your opinion here i know you're a cni person but I am not, I, I'm really interested in staying in the classroom. I'm 55 and I'm not looking to advance my career. I'm wanting to enhance my skills. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking to move out of the classroom now. If something just unbelievable come up and where I could still work with students, then possibly. But I'm not really interested in getting out of the classroom at this point. Now, things could change, right. but right now I'm not. Um, I'm just wondering if the CNI is the direction I could probably pursue. I looked at some degrees in technology, uh, classroom technology and things like that, but I thought the CNI would be a better fit. Yeah, um, we look at different learning theories. Definitely, if you're thinking about staying in the classroom. And by the way, welcome, Tara. I see that you're here, uh, and I'll get to your questions in, in a minute. Um, if you're looking to stay in the classroom, you will take courses that will help you, and it will enhance your understanding of, um, you know, teaching and learning. Um, and you right. definitely, if you wanted to focus on history, then definitely, you know, those would be courses that will, you know, enhance your uh, content knowledge. Right. Um, you you could also right. focus on educational technology. Those courses are very focused on um, practices to implement educational, you know, and, and implement technology in your classroom. So those would be, right. I would say, the you know the best options for you if you're looking at staying. Yeah. Well, and in that we're getting, uh, I don't know if you know or not, but we're getting a brand new school built and it'll be a couple of years and we'll be moving in and it's supposed to be loaded down with technology, technology. and stuff that we have not had. So it's going to be right. a drastic change. Yeah. So that might be definitely something that you, yeah. And if you do educational technology, those are 30 hours. It doesn't, you don't need to take the extra two okay. courses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, well, that kind of answers my question so far. Okay. Thank Tara, you. Um, thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, and you clearly can ask other questions. But Tara, I gave an overview of the program uh, before you joined, so I'm very quickly going to tell you about it um, and then answer any questions you might have. Um, our program is 30 hours. Um, you choose between uh, four cognates, depending on, well, three if you're elementary, four if you have the secondary level. Um, and then you, to take 12 credits in that cognate to have your specialization, either instructional coaching, educational technology, STEM education, or for the high school uh, teachers that have a degree in their content area, they can focus on their content area. So for example, for Mark, he's a history teacher, so he could focus on history. Um, our courses are all online except for some of the content areas. Only English provide, it has enough courses online to complete the entire degree online. Um, so what uh, What are some of you, um, we have the admissions information is all posted on the website and our uh, Office of Grad, uh, Graduate Studies have posted the links on, on the chat and you, uh, to apply, we need your um, transcripts from your institution where you got your undergrad. Uh, complete the application, you need to send the uh, transcripts. And once we get the transcripts, then we analyze our, our admissions coordinator analyzes the transcripts and determines if you qualify for the waiver of the GRE. The GRE is waived when the student has a GPA of 3.25 or higher in their last 60 hours or the overall GPA. Um, so what questions do you have, Tara? If I already obtained a master's degree with a specialization in CNI, is it still the same amount of hours if I'm just seeking my principal certification? Oh, okay. So I just, I happen to know about that because uh, I teach in that program. Um, so no, the principal certification is 22 hours. Um, it's not 30 hours. Okay. It's three semesters. Okay, and so when will the next semester would start in January? Correct. What would be the application deadline to apply for the program starting in January? Um, December 20th. Yeah, and the principal certification program is not part of CNI. I just happened to be able to answer that question because I used to be the program coordinator for the principal certification and I teach in that program, but uh, it's not part of CNI. Yeah, it's a separate plan. Okay, thank you. That's pretty much all of the questions that I have. I've seen the financial 
part of it. So do you pay for each course as you take them or do you pay the total fee up front? You pay by semester by tuition based on the courses you're taking that semester. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And the pricing for the online classes for hours? It's approximately, it's approximately 748 per course. Okay, all right. So you get uh, your degree in about, um, the de you get the degree for about 7,500. Um, yeah. And um, the grad, uh, there's a chat, there's a note on the chat that it's, it's important for, especially for Tara. Um, students that are on the certification only program are not eligible for financial aid. Yeah. Yeah. To be yeah. in a degree seeking program. Yeah. And Tara, yeah. by the way, for that reason, we do have a lot of students that choose to get a second master's degree in educational leadership because the difference is only eight credit hours and then that gives you the option of uh, being eligible for financial aid. So it would be, would I have to pick a area of study or the cognizance that you said to uh, obtain a second master's? No, no, that would be a master's in educational leadership with principal certification. And those are courses that are all required. But and you would those be, courses are all online? Correct, 100% online, yes. 30 hours, yeah. What are the other questions do you guys have? No, I think that about sums it up for me. I, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely not going to go the route that Tara, Tara's going. I'm, I'm in the twilight of my career, and I've seen the boss's job, and I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I did it for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Better person than I am. I couldn't do that. <laughs> Dr. Oh, Crawford, right? The highlight of my career, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Crawford is our principal, and I've I've, I've seen that job. I don't want it. Yeah, anyway, I think. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Tara. Do you have any other questions? No, ma'am. I do not. That's it. All right. Uh, they said something about a uh, for being on the video or logging in. There was some kind of. Oh, yeah. Right, you the application fee. Yes. Um, let's wait for the office of, um, I think it's Mike. Mike, uh, can you answer that question? Yeah. He's answering on the chat. 